on today's video i am back with a bag unboxing a mango bag unboxing at that so let us get right into the video hi guys wengi here if you're new here thank you so so much for joining us i hope you stay by subscribing to the channel so you become a part of the community on today's video i am back with a bag unboxing a mango bag unboxing to be exact but before we do, let me take you back to the first ever video I ever filmed for my channel and the first ever bag unboxing I ever did. It was a mango quilted chain bag to be precise, a black bag at that, which is this one. I have loved this bag so much. I have used it so, so much. You've probably seen on my styling videos or on me going out. I always take you guys along. I mean, you must know this by now. This bag was my first love and the first ever bag I decided to pay a little bit more money than I should on a bag. But anyway, who's counting? And I decided to get her a friend. But before we get to that one, let me show you this other bag that I have used for so many years and it has served me well, just like this one. It is this shopper style bag from Edgar's. This bag was a gift from a friend from back in 2018. So I have had this bag since then. I mean, it's black and it's texture. As much as it looks basic, you can see that it has some decorating to it. It's not just a black basic shopper bag and it has gold hardware. <laughs> Now that I've given you a background of the bags that I have, I am now going to let you know what it is that I looked for in this bag. I wanted a crossbody option, a bag that is black like these two, but has the following offers. The option to wear it is a crossbody bag. I wanted two compartments. I also wanted a bag that has a pocket inside and has silver hardware. And lastly, I wanted a timeless and minimalistic bag. More for going out and, you know, dressing up a bit. And let's unbox it. I don't know why I'm not just putting this down before I cut myself. But I wanted to start this process with you and give you a true bag unboxing. You know, instead of coming here with a bag that's already unboxed. But you will be seeing her just now. And here she is. Here she is. Here she is, guys. Can you see her? What do you guys think? I absolutely love her. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. I haven't said the statement. This is Bag Lucium from Mango in an average size. I bought this bag through the Superbalist app and I ordered this bag on a Friday and then I received it on Tuesday instead of the following Friday which they had said I'm going to receive it in you know so it got to me earlier than expected let us get to the details of this bag i mean okay first off the material is made of polyurethane polyurethane plastic to be precise so it's not leather okay i'm not made about that i knew what i was getting myself into so as you can see it has quite a long adjustable strap it also has a short one so you have the option to wear it as a crossbody bag and also wear it as a handbag it has this detail over here which i absolutely love this buckle and as you can see it has silver hardware this is actually where you adjust it and this is how it looks inside it has two compartments which is actually what I wanted in this bag. And it has a pocket inside, which you can actually zip. And I'm happy about that. And I like that it's not too big, 
that it i feel like it's wearing me instead of me wearing it so i'm quite happy about the size it has a clasp here which you use to open and close it so it's not just open and just has a pocket inside i am happy about that and it looks like this under it has this detail here it's not just straight as this one as you can see here i absolutely love this bag guys and you know i honestly wouldn't keep it if it wasn't what i actually wanted that's one thing about me that you gotta know one thing about this bag is that it is quite versatile you can dress it both formally and casually i mean you can wear it with like chic outfits casual streetwear outfits i mean it really has a lot to give guys you can style it with a jean a basic tee a blazer and some sneakers maybe sambas if you enter sambas or gazelles or you can wear it with a dress and a blazer and some heels or you can wear it with just a dress you know like a mixy dress and then wear your ballet flats if you're into ballet flats or mary jane's if you're into that or sandals like chunky sandals or slingback mules <laughs> or clogs actually you can style it with a mixy skirt a vest like maybe cropped or one that is long that you can tuck in obviously wear this bag and then wear a sandal or any type of shoe that you are into or maybe boots you know you can also wear it with like satin skirts or chunky knit knitwear <laughs> it is quite versatile guys i have so many looks that i had planned that this bag can go with i don't even need to think hard about it because it's black and you know how versatile black can be it goes with any outfits white neutrals black like an all black outfit even colorful outfits of that like you can wear a colorful dress and then wear like black heels have a black bag or brown shoes it's quite versatile where did i get the inspo for this bag i saw a bag that looks really similar it was the arcade crossbody bag i love that it comes in different sizes i think large small and mini and i saw that they offer quite a wide range of colors so i was like oh wow like i kept scrolling you know me once i see something i just yeah i go all out i wanted to see what's more out there that i can you know get an inspiration from but there's also one from etni studios the i think it's the musubi midi shoulder leather bag <laughs> Oh my god, let me say let me say it at the show. I don't want to be saying something that is. So it's Acne Studios Musubi Midi Leather Shoulder Bag. <laughs> I was actually right. It's sold by Neta Pote. So when I saw that one, I was like, I am definitely sold on the style of this bag, how it goes with everything, the colors. And there's also one from Ark. I was like, okay, okay okay now you've got my attention what more is there let's find something that i can actually find here in south africa in cape town to be precise because i haven't seen a mango store here in cape town there was one in waterfront and then it was closed but i know in Jobek they definitely do have one at mall of africa i think so i came upon bag lucia from mango i was like wow like that one has a thick strap like this one only it doesn't have this long adjustable one and the detail and everything is the same i think i'm not sure if it looks the same underneath though but i know like front wise it looks similar let me put it that way and then i saw this other person from joe bag and she had styled it bag lucia in the color camel i was like wow okay now like now that i know that this bag exists in south africa i was like okay okay like i continued searching scouting on the super list there i never saw it okay so i was like i'm giving up okay i am giving up and then i saw bag of failure i like to know bags by name okay anyway i saw the bag of failure one in the color camel which is the like similar color as the big lucia one which i mentioned i was like wow now we are talking i was beyond excited okay but i was looking at the prices i was like oh ah, uh -uh, that's too steep son i saw it and then bag lucien came in i was like okay this is my chance to pounce okay i went for it 
okay let me so let me not say that <laughs> this is youtube anyway i went ahead and purchased it let's just keep it at that i am still as excited as i was when i received it anyway let's move on what is currently on my big wish list let's get right into that anyway i had this lime green shoulder bag from mango that i really liked loved at this point i was so convinced that this should be my next bag okay my next bag purchase and then i did some research first just to see what i'm getting myself into you know like what am i getting am i getting my money's worth and <sighs> ish i don't know how to put this let me show you pictures you're going to see on the screen how the pictures on the site on the superbalist look and then from what i see the zipper of this bag is on the right so let me tell you why the zip detail is important first i like to wear my shoulder bags on my right shoulder <laughs> or arm i never wear a bag on my left i don't know why i've never been accustomed to it it's just not something i do i want the zipper to be at the front okay so i'm wearing my shoulder bag in fact <laughs> i'm wearing my shoulder bag okay so i want the zip to be here at the front to avoid being pickpocketed i must be able to see it all the time and still feel my belongings it's facing this side instead and since it has pockets at the front that means if i want to wear it on the right and still have the zip at the front the pockets will be facing towards my body which is something i don't want obviously why would you buy a bag and not wear as it's intended to be worn i don't want to be getting something and feeling like ah, worst purchase ever worst idea to get this bag or still not be happy about it or with it so because of that i'm just like let me just put this on hold or maybe just forget about it until i am fully convinced that this is not the case okay but as you can see on the pictures like i am really convinced that this zip is going to be at the back and yeah i don't want that i first saw this bag on pinterest there was this other one that has these two pocket details like on the side and the hanging zips with the initials i think when i saw that bag i was like this bag looks so beautiful like it's stunning man i'm just like oh i want it to be mine now and then i was like would you really wear this bag on the daily like look at it each time you wear it you're going to feel like you need to dress up and then you know to fit the aesthetic of the bag not not, not let the looks of the bag go to waste you know so when i looked at that and i actually came to the decision that yeah let's rethink this anyway where would i even find this bag in south africa hmm? so i looked and looked and looked and then i saw this other one by miu miu i'm not sure how you say the brand it also has the pockets on the sides i was like oh wow probably expensive too and then i was like no 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 let's continue searching i saw the one from by far oh i think it's also lime green it is the shiny coat it's not matte that's what i'm trying to get it so i was like ah it's gonna scratch easily man like i like to look at these things and know what to expect you know way ahead of time so when i saw that i was like it's not like i can even get this bag in south africa let's search again and then i saw this shoulder bag from mango i was like oh my god yeah no this is the one okay until i actually saw the zip detail and then i was like ah this is not it this is not it it's either we place it on hold and then see another person's review on it or because i don't want to be getting something for the sake of getting it and then it gets here and i'm like i have to return it now all that hope and all those looks i had planned and you know i yeah i don't want to be putting myself to that anyway we have come to the end of this video guys if you have made it this far thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions feel free to ask away in the comment section and to see more videos from me hit the subscribe button guys don't be shy don't be shy don't be shy okay and you will be seeing me on the next one oh and i'll be seeing you on the next one <laughs> i keep forgetting how this goes